In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install YouTube on Android Auto. It's gonna be a straightforward and easier process to achieve this. And the good news about this is that it doesn't require a rooted uh, Android device. In other words, it doesn't require a jailbreaking process on your uh, device. So let's dive in right in the process. In this video, I'm gonna use this um, Galaxy Z Flip 4 with uh, the latest Android uh, version running at the time of this video which is uh, Android 13 and it will actually work with the older uh, Android versions as well. So the first step would be to go in the settings and find uh, the uh, section of installing uh, unknown uh, apps or from unknown uh, sources. If you are not that familiar with the settings uh, on your phone, just use the uh, search bar on the settings app. Once we are getting here, we want to make sure uh, the uh, Chrome is turned on in this list because we're going to use Chrome to install uh, this app. I will have the uh, link in the video description. The app is called AAAD and usually should be a link in the lower side of the website and it should have an .apk extension and we want to make sure we download uh, this uh, app and then we'll tap open and install. Now the reason that we are using uh, Chrome uh, to install this app is that we cannot find uh, this app in the uh, Google Play Store and it makes sense because Google uh, determined that this uh, app might distract the drivers and they don't want such apps to uh, be installed on uh, their Android Auto system. Well, there's a lot of responsibility there and they don't want to take it. So anyway, we're going to open uh, this app and right at the bottom of the screen will be this message that will ask us to uh, uh, grant permissions to install unknown uh, apps. And now we can go back uh, to the uh, this list of apps and we want to make sure we are uh, getting the uh, car stream. The free version of this app will only allow you uh, one download uh, every few days. It will actually tell you at the bottom how many downloads remaining. In my case, I have the uh, Pro one, so I don't have any restrictions. We'll tap on uh, the uh, car stream and then we'll allow uh, access to the files. So that way this AAD app will be able to uh, download the uh, car stream app and then we'll select the latest version from uh, this uh, list and uh, install uh, process will uh, begin shortly after we uh, tap on the install. Now basically this app is just a web version of, of uh, YouTube and um, now this acts more like a browser, it will uh, give you access, you can even uh, search for other uh, websites, not only uh, YouTube is basically a browser. Then we'll tap uh, done or open whatever you prefer but I just want to show you how the uh, car stream app looks uh, on the screen now we want to tap on the uh, car stream app and if using it for the first time we will ask for uh, those permissions go ahead and allow it so that way the app will work uh, properly and this is how the uh, app shows on uh, the phone so one more setting before we uh, fire up Android Auto, go to the uh, settings of this car stream app and enable desktop mode. That way the YouTube version of uh, the website will allow you to sign in and have uh, have it uh, ready if you want to watch your uh, subscribe channel. Otherwise it will just use the mobile version of the app where you could not really sign in. Anyway, well, let's uh, jump into Android Auto. On the Android Auto on the main screen here, you should see an app, uh, the uh, car stream that is gonna be uh, the uh, browser and as you can see it allows us to uh, have access uh, to the website app and I'm gonna do a quick demo here I'm gonna try to find uh, a video for you to show you how uh, how it looks uh, full screen uh, playing on uh, Android Auto and uh, I have a video saved here for you so there we go this is how we will uh, look uh, full screen you can actually uh, make it really full screen uh, by tapping that uh, enlarge button on the top bar whenever you uh, tap the screen that uh, uh, bar with uh, controls will uh, pop up and will give you uh, shortcuts to whatever you need to uh, properly use this app and uh, you can have a, a glitch here and there it's not perfect but uh, so far is the most reliable uh, app that I've seen to work uh, on Android Auto. Now I know a lot of uh, folks out there may uh, be against this uh, YouTube app thing on the Android Auto, but it can be useful sometimes. Of course, I don't recommend it while uh, driving, 
but it can be uh, useful in uh, some other uh, situations anyway I want to continue and showing you what else this uh, app can do uh, so on that uh, top bar we having this uh, button for uh, bookmarks you can add uh, actually any website you want I added Netflix there but uh, I could not make a uh, Netflix work uh, Netflix is not supported uh, on any other than um, than uh, Windows or uh, Mac OS uh, system so I haven't tried Hulu but uh, if you tap on that uh, magnifying uh, with a G so that will take you to the um, Google search and you can search basically for anything here and really the sky is the limit from uh, from uh, this point here to what what you can do and what you can't uh, do with uh, with this app just let me know what you think about this app in the uh, comments down below and if you like this kind of content don't forget to click like and subscribe to this channel for more similar content i will uh, see you in the next video